Hello and welcome to another installment into my um, my life resume on video. <laughs> That's what we'll call it tonight. Okay, so right here, um, actually, I, this is the second time doing the video. I sort of messed up and I lost the video halfway through. So this is a yard sale find. Uh, we got a General Electric Model Three Dash Five Three Four. One or one four A one four A. That's what it says. It's a Korean made um, General Electric tape player. So it's kind of cool. It's an old. This is pre Walkman. It's definitely the nineteen seventy. So this is one that we would do dictaphone, would record classes with, and what have not. So uh, General Electric. So on the side right here, we got the the strap, earpiece, and the six volt adapter for AC use. And on top of it, we got the microphone, pause, play button, the volume button, and mic remote, which is, that would be kind of cool if I had one. And on to the side, we have the light for the battery, for the play battery and the record battery. Uh, we have a stop eject button, record button, play button, uh, rewind, review button, fast forward, and preview button. Um... My God, it did not work. I actually um, see all the battery corrosion damage here on the side. Um, this is, if I take it, I put some batteries into it. So on here, on this terminal, was all corroded and disgusting. So the battery underneath this one blew up. So these are batteries I placed in. Uh, this is sort of interesting because you have the negative, positive. All four batteries are going in the same direction, which is unique, so... Uh, this is definitely built for, um, I want to say it's built for time, for, for, for length, you know, so you could record, you know, hour long class without batteries dying onto it because if you go, uh, be 1.5 going across, I per se, both sides. So it's hooked up in, in parallel for most part, not series like other ones are. So this one's a parallel hooked up, um, thing. Uh, right here's your back speaker. You build in speaker, pop that back on in. Uh, oh, what is it? Secretary. So, um, uh, this is a mono head. I looked inside it. Uh, it does work. Um, I'm going to hit play. Uh, speaker's a little crackly because it's just been sitting around for a while. So, um, it does go forward. Um, because of content issues, I can't, you know, have the volume up onto it. I did test it with the volume on. It's all warbly and everything. So definitely going to need some belts onto it. Um, I'm going to have rewind. So this one, so it looks like it gets done. Okay, this is the forward. It's just not doing anything. Um, I'll put it to stop. And it's just going. There's no forward, forward onto it. Um, I'll put that. It does have a reverse, so that's kind of cool. The reverse works. Um, if I pop this out right here, the cover says there's an automatic stop and everything. So I'll just do this real quick. Oh, I'll even test out the... Let me do this real fast. Uh, on the side button, the uh, pause button. So we're going to pause it. Pause works. Turn that back on. And there we go. Uh, let's just stop it. I'm going to pop out the... Um, Cassette. Oh, this thing is this the um. Oop, my hand is in the way. That's why. Cause I'm holding the phone. That's why. That's why. I'm holding the phone. There you go. Come on. There you go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is just hard because I'm doing the phone here right now. Um, oop. I'm trying to get inside the door there, but oh, there you go. You see, there's like a race head, mono tape thing, pinch roller. I'm trying to see if there's a where's the stop at. I don't see the. I think that's a permanent race head to us. I don't think this thing is going to be um, one that's going to have the playback uh, that you could uh, listen as you record. So this probably has an automatic um, or permanent race head onto it. So right there. So it's um, this is the um, a portable 1970s gel electric recorder that was up for um, junk. Uh, it just wobbly. So we're just going to put a few cassettes into it. Maybe it'll free up i did that with my tape uh, real real machines you put a couple cassettes through and it normally does but this thing's just warbly as all heck as you see it does have the all mac uh, level control and it has an auto stop which is that's kind of cool so this would be a mid range model also too um i'm just going to pause it right here i'm going to show you stuff real cool hold on okay i'm back here so this is sort of interesting as you see there's a little bit of a 
uh, oops, right, where's my screwdriver head? There we go. <laughs> I'm doing this on the phone. Um, the corrosion right there. I took some sandpaper, knocked that off. But um, if you, I'm trying to focus that in a little bit better. Let's see if it's at Customer Service Electronics Park in Syracuse. So Electronics Park, for folks who don't realize, that's where all the small portable electronics were based out of in Syracuse. They made televisions in Syracuse. They made stereos record players whatever they made a lot of this electronic stuff at electronics a whole campus over in syracuse there's actually signs over in off the through throughway and say uh, and it uh go you know let's say electronics parkway and that's where it comes from it used to be a big campus for uh, general electric and your electronics department uh um yeah so for most part all the um electronics um General Electric, they outsourced it by 1980s, so uh, the service center was gone. I think it was early 80s service center was gone because the whole campus was take, taken over by McDonnell Douglas. And they had um, large um, satellite and electronics assembly um, factory there and, and still use a lot of buildings. So it's very General Electric. So it makes sense here being in New York, uh, you know, a lot of General Electric stuff because General Electric used to be just big. I mean, it's like it was factories in every, pretty much every city in New York State. Um, yeah, so most of the electronics of this time was in there. And I didn't and, and talk to you about uh, the electronic repair right there. I think that is actually a speed control for electronics. So I got to look into it. We'll probably take it apart after I run a few tapes through and see if I can get it fixed. Because I would like to get um, the brand put some new belts and if i could find some belts i got the universal kit from amazon we'll see that and i got some other belts from um me just scalping around ebay and macari and stuff like that so i think that's actually a speed control or input level button or something so i'll find out what the heck that is but that's kind of cool I like some of these old electronics because you actually they do have uh, stuff printed on board it's not on raspberry pi chips and stuff so anything you have to replace and everything and again the sounds warbly you don't have fast forward or reverse that's pretty reliable so again this is kind of cool this is was a pickup and it was into my pile of stuff for um you know <laughs> me to look at and yeah and if i had to sit there and put a price on this ah just because old electronics like this american made general electric is mid-range at this time um uh, you would want to have something like a Sanyo. Oops, back it out too soon. Um, you may want to have something like a, a Sony at this time is top of range. Panasonic top of range. Sanyo was pretty much mid range Chinese Japanese, I should say. You got Korean and whatever. So yeah, it's like there's some Korean ma manufacturers out there. So yeah, and these were durable. They were made in Korea for American market. Um. Yeah, this would be a mid-range. You go over to local Kmart or Grants and you pick up one of these things. And so you could record classes and stuff like that onto it. So this is definitely for dictation or, you know, record a class. Um, enough of me rambling. So, well, this is something I pick up. I'm sharing because it's, it's like kind of cool. You don't see many of these anymore roaming around. Except, you know, flea markets and such like that. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat that works. Uh, a bit with the belts being screwed up. But I figured, yeah, we could put a few tapes through it and... It'll clear itself up. I'm repeating myself. So, well, have a great day, everybody. And just remember, um, if you like videos like this, I may make more. I am into many different things. So, um, yeah, so like, subscribe if you want to. I'm always inviting uh, comments. I do not read comments. Uh, I do not respond to comments either. But you can put comments down if you feel it's necessary. But, hey, it's like have a good day and uh, thank you for uh, watching my video today.